NEF 2013 has a lot of um, nice uh, charts and other things in here. And using the standard row center show of one of the pieces in here, but using um, the small business row center is really one of the things that has a very, very nice chart plot in here. So if I go into my user personalization, and instead of using my default role center, I go into use the one that is called small business down here. As I now open up the NAV client, I'll see that I have a, a whole list of uh, charts that I can actually work with out here. So it's key performance indicators, and as I see, I have a list of charts where actually I can go in like looking at sales trends by customer groups over time and have different period lengths. That's what we want to have weeks here. And then showing previous period and so on. All this one is actually, if I hit Control Alt F1 in here, I can see that's a generic chart 13. Uh, 19 in here. So if I go to the development environment, and look at my standard row center, that is the 9006 for the order processor in here, I can go uh, switch my license, assign this one, and in the second column down here, I go into add this new part in here, so it's a uh, Part, it's a page, and I will have a page part ID 1390. So that's a generic chart. So when I add that one now, as I change my role center again, So there's really nothing uh, in uh, that part, except I, have, of course, have all these uh, nice features. It's all part of the license for 2015 already, where as you get um, the starter pack, it also going to include the mini app in here to have all these graphics. Right now, it's only showing five columns in here. And that's another thing I want to look a little at how we can actually change this one in here. So if I go and look at, um, my pages or my code units. There's actually a code unit in here in the small business app range. It's down at 1300 down here. Sales by customer group chart management in here. And one of the things is here is actually currently hard coded to be five columns. If I actually wanted to have eight columns with this, I can of course change it and then uh, try relaunch it again. So as I switch to something else and come back to my row center, I'll see that I now have eight columns in here. That would of course be nice to actually administer. And all these settings up here, by the way, they are all sa saved in a table also in here. So if we uh, go look at a table now, I can look at that one. I have use ID, start date, and period length in, length in here. So one thing I could do in here and say I want to actually have number of periods. And it would be an integer. And if I now go back, get on this one in here. Instead of using this one, I could actually go in here and um, it already got the chart set up in here. It's a global variable in here in sales by chart. So instead of having this one hard coded, I'll actually go in here and say, I'll have my sales number of periods, and um, to make it nice, I should probably say if that is 
equal to zero. Then I have it set to five, that is the default. Else I will do the line that I have in here. So um, if I don't do anything, I'll have that one. There's not really a function that shows that one, that table in here. But I'm going to just run it in here and say I want to have six periods in here. So as I change that one now, I will take a look at my sales orders and come back again. It now shows my six period out here that I actually wanted in here. So in that way, it's kind of user configurable. If I don't want to build the page for it. The other thing, all this one is basically built on this chart management in here. And one of the neat thing about this chart, you basically just load some values uh, to the chart and it displays those values. You also load, load headers and things like that one in here. And I can see in this one, it's a customer posting group uh, and it has um, many uh, things related to the customer posting group in here. If I actually want to look at my inventory posting groups instead, I would need to modify this code in here slightly actually. And I can use the same code, you know, keep on adding the functions, um, but I'm actually going to um, make a change to this one and I'm then going to uh, put it in another code unit at that time. So um, let's go export this one to text in here. And I also want to save it to text in here, of course, as I mentioned. So if I now go look at this code unit, I can see in here it's uh, every time I have a reference to my customer, I actually want to change that one to my icon. So let's go do some replacing here with 18 being 27. Actually, I want to have record 18, of course. And I don't get so many false hits in there. So I'm going to replace that one. So that was one part of it. And every time it's a cost, I want to have item. And I'm actually going to reuse this one, so uh, but I still want to replace the name of it in here. I'm going to make a little trick about actually um, calculating those ones. So I have some here that are not working fine, but I'm going to um, make a few changes to that in here. So and if I have item so oh, that makes uh a lot of the things change in here. So uh, I'll basically have to save this one and I'm going to use a new code unit for now. As an I'll compile this one. There is, of course, something that don't work in here. So, uh, item posting group, it's called inventory.
So it now replaces it in the posting group, and I basically have one that can now uh, calculate these functions. Now, of course, I need a function that can actually do that one for me. And there's two things I have to change because when I look at my list of charts out here, I have a list of uh, charts out here, and I have a sales trend by customer group. I have going to have another one that is called sales trend by inventory group. And if I look about this page, I'll see that this one actually is uh, a page that run on uh, 31.91, but there is a table underneath that is actually being used for you. So let's go run that table in here. And I have a code unit ID, and my code unit ID is 50,000. And I have uh, sales trends by inventory group. And I want to enable that one in here. So as I now select the chart, I can see my sales trend by inventory group, and uh, I now see something that is completely wrong in here because I don't get that sales trend actually. The last P that I need to do is to change one code unit that actually is um, selecting rest of the code in here. So let's look at this. So to make the chart calculate correctly, I will have to change this mini chart management in here. So if I first search for sales by customer group chart in here, I'll see that I have a use of the code unit in here. So let's go and add my own. Code unit in here, I'm going to reuse the same one in here. So basically I use the same ranges in here. So um, let's look at the management code unit. I have a function to build on. So I would need to copy that one in here. So um, I have my own in here. sales by item group management, and instead of having sales by customer group, I'll have my other one down here. So I'll go in and say I need this code to be copied. In there, I did. So let's find the other use of that one. Here's a function that um, is setting the period in here. Sales by item. And that was basically the two places. So let's close this one now. And let's uh, try to take a look and see if my chart now shows up the right thing in here. I can now see my um, chart, uh, raw material, finished goods, resale. Basically, that's what is needed to actually change that uh, chart. A lot of reusing of the same code that is already in there allow you to have a lot of uh, nice features, being able to show them uh, by customer group, and uh, you can show them also down here by inventory group now. Again, it's a very small change uh, inside NAV to actually reuse that component, and especially those key performance indicators that are on the small business role center, but not a lot of places. Again, it's only a few places actually that you need to go change and add a few things. The only thing I had to do was basically to add a new code unit for calculating that one. And this could only also be 
combined with the previous one of 